I like how Yuri is dancing a bit to the music. Look at him grooving. <laughs> Cindered shadows, what lies beneath? What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fireman 3 Houses and we are continuing with the Cindered Shadows gameplay uh, for the DLC and this is chapter 2. So it looks like we could explore Abyss and I just find this music to be so chill for something like Abyss. I wish there was a way of changing monastery music to this, honestly. I really like it so much. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. It's about you outsiders. Actually, yes, I shouldn't bother reporting you to yourself. The Ashen Wolves may seem tough, but they're harmless. Honestly, things can get pretty boring down here. But here's a little piece of wisdom from me to you. Boredom's a luxury. Trust me, I know these things. Okay, this is the Gatekeeper of Abyss. But it doesn't quite have the charm of our good old Damn. gatekeeper. Let's just say that. You're quite a strapping fellow. But even your looks don't compete with the likes of Yuri. Don't let that pretty face of his fool you though. He's a rogue, through and through. Even so, the people of Abyss trust him. He may be a scoundrel, but he's our scoundrel. <laughs> wow, this dialogue. Okay, so this is the marketplace. We could replenish the battalions. Do, require? do I want to replenish battalion of Dimitri? He does have the uh, battalion rat. Actually, I'll do it. We also do have Farewell. some bullion which we got. So we could just sell that. Yeah, we could sell that. Training gauntlets. Um, door key. I could have uh, Edelgard take that hammer. Training onlets are probably not gonna be all that useful. All right. Welcome. Uh, let's sell our bullion. Will this one do? Many thanks. And let's buy something. Um, I'm gonna give Dimitri Poor Slayer. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. I could also buy Killing Edge Welcome. actually for uh, Violet. I think that will be useful. It is pretty expensive Will this one though. Do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Okay, there should also be hey there. Welcome. Yeah, the items. I'm gonna give a uh, steel shield to uh, Edelgard one? so that she can have Thank a lot you. of defense. Come again. She's already so stocky, but I just have a feeling that um, steel shield is just gonna be even better. What's all the commotion about? Hey, hang on. I've never seen you before. You a first timer? Word of advice. Watch your back. The only folks who hang around down here are the ones too shady to walk in the goddess's light. Bro, I'm just that shady. I don't even know about goddess. Until like five months ago. Um, oh, there, there was Hilda and Balthus. Hey, a professor. Allow me to introduce you to my brother's best friend. You can call him Balti. Actually, it's Balthus. You've probably heard of me. In the Alliance, I'm known as, uh, how should I put it? Right answer. This guy's notorious for picking fights and shirking debts. He's got a whole army of bounty hunters chasing after him. I may not look it, but I was once a noble from a minor house. Life's full of twists and turns. I know you, Balti. I'm pretty sure you got yourself into this mess. The high difference, dude. He's so huge. Yeah, even Violet seems so short compared to Balthus. Insanely tall, man. Uh, we also have to talk to Dimitri and Claude. We just ignored them. What do you think, Professor? This is a most unique town, is it not? Incredible, really. 
that those who face depression on the surface are able to find sanctuary here. Oh, not to say that there's no helping the situation in Fodlan. To do just that is our duty and our honor. Even so, I find the idea rather lovely. Bro, these people have been oppressed and they live here because of their circumstance. I don't know if anything is lovely about that. Who knew an entire town was hiding beneath the monastery? And a secret fourth house to boot? Secrets upon secrets, so I'm just itching to know them all. I'm sure Rhea knows all about this place. Gods, how many secrets does that lady have? She's got a lot of them. And her posterior is definitely not one of them. That's for sure. Uh, okay, Ash is there. Yeah, we gotta talk to him. He knows Yuri. What is this room? Oh, we can change uh, unit appearance here. That's nice. Um, but not like we have anything. Okay, I'm gonna go with the monastery uh, once for everyone. But, I mean, for Edelgard, it's not gonna be... Edelgard and Dimitri doesn't really change. I'm gonna change that for Violet. His default costume is much better. And this is mounted class, so probably not gonna be affecting Claude. Yeah, I like the monastery outfits more. It just seemed better. Hmm. I could have just done the everyone option. They have the new option from the update. Why did I not do that? A rusted sword, okay. It looks like this is where the people of Abyss leave their unwanted belongings. I didn't expect to find much, but there's actually plenty of gear we could salvage. I'm told we can take anything we can use, so it might be good to check on it now and again. Ooh, there is another one. Can we forge into Iron Lands? Yeah, I mean, uh, doing that to rusted weapons does save a bit of gold, and we do have limited resources, so that definitely helps. We have to go and talk to Linhard. He is in the library. No surprise right there. Oh, hello, Professor. Have you seen this library of theirs? It's completely different from the one in the monastery, and their collection is amazing. There are forgeries and banned books, legends, spells, and heresies. Dad, I'll catch a single wink tonight. Ooh, he definitely seems to be really interested. Actually, I could probably uh, forge some of the rusted weapons. That could help. Hey there. Uh, no. I want to forge, not repair. I'll go with a rusted bow to make that into an iron bow. Is this it? There you go. And we do have rusted lance. Can be made into iron gauntlets. Oh, uh, Violet could be able to use that, so it could prove to be useful. And we made it into Iron Sword. We already have that. Is this it? There you go. I'm gonna use that. Come back anytime. And I'm gonna take the Iron Gauntlets. I'm gonna give uh, the iron bow to Helda. A bit of range is gonna be nice. And we now just have to talk to the Ashen Wolf students and then we'll be on our way. Hey, new person. Want my advice? Don't wander too far off the beaten path. Abyssians like their privacy. If you go snooping around, there's bound to be trouble. Wait, did I introduce myself? My name's Happy. You're not a holy knight. And you don't seem all that special. But you're certainly mysterious, wielding that hero's relic. Yeah, I've heard all about you. But I never figured I'd see you down here, chasing after someone and getting lost in the process. In the classroom for the Ashen Wolf House. Just so we're clear, we're not affiliated with the Officers Academy. Since we're not part of the Academy, it's really just in place for us. Can't go to the surface either. We've all got our reasons. 
We are a unique bunch from all walks of life. Once you get to know us, I'm sure you'll love it here. Do they have a teacher or something? They do have the board. And they do have the benches too. Pardon, but might you possibly be the Imperial Princess herself? I am. And you are Constance of House Nouvelle. I recall hearing of your disappearance. I never would have imagined you'd end up in a place like this. Your presence is equally curious. What business could you have here? Don't tell me it was idle curiosity. As I believe you were well aware, we were chasing after a suspicious individual. So all of the Ashenwald students have some kind of leaning towards the Lord. I believe like Constance is leaning towards Edelgard, Balthus is leaning towards Claude, Poppy leans towards Dimitri, and I think uh, Yuri is just neutral. Yeah, he really doesn't care about anyone, any lord. He's fine on his own, and he's actually uh, the house leader, so... Yeah, we have talked to everyone. And now, let's just go and... Uh, go to the battle. Okay. Abyss is where I offer my prayers to my gods. It is the only place. The goddess of Fordlin is not one of my gods. But the statue here is not one of my gods either. I offer my prayers here all the same, because Abyss is where it is allowed. Oh, she has a different religion or something? Huh? You're from the surface, aren't you? I bet you're real bad. My mom says surface people are the worst. I mean, that is pretty true. I'm pretty bad. I missed like 90% hit rate move, so what? I would consider that to be a pretty bad thing too. Find someone else to bother. Whatever the heck you're selling, I'm not buying. Not a trader, huh? Sorry, my mistake. Most folks chatting down here are just pawning off stolen goods. Okay, no one gives <laughs> a tam about us. Everyone is just disrespecting us. They couldn't care less. If you are Violet, the wielder of Sword of Creator. Okay, let's go to the battle. Uh, let's just save beforehand. Uh, I just saved, but okay. We're all done here, boss. Oh, but more importantly, about your... We'll discuss that another time. For now, tend to your mission. Don't worry. No one will die. We'll get everyone out safely. Hmm. Once the trap is set, shift your focus to protecting the Abyssians. Just in case things go south. Mo, it's you. I was just heading off to ambush our attackers. You'll help with that, won't you? Oh! Does that mean your enemies are drawing near? Very good! <laughs> the scouts I sent to the surface spotted some mercenaries. We closed off the entrance they used last, but it seems they've already found another. This is bad! We've got to evacuate everyone from Abyss as quickly as possible! That won't be necessary. They'll be back soon. Huh? Who? Why do I have to go? No matter what we do, we're all just gonna die in the end anyway. Sure, but if we do nothing, we'll die a lot sooner. I assume the corridor is successfully camouflaged? But of course! Our decoys shall prevent those scoundrels from chancing upon our living quarters. Do note that I am the bait upon your hook. If we fail, I shall be left dangling in the wind. <laughs> but it must be done, I fear. And so... I will most happily accept the starring role in this! They're at the entrance. They'll be coming in from the east. The east? <laughs> Good. We're well placed. Go ahead and draw them deeper into Abyss, just like we planned. 
Launching small counterattacks on the surface won't accomplish anything. It could also earn us the scorn of the church, if it gets messy. Which it will. That's why we have to lure the enemy underground before we take them out. I know the perfect spot. Admit it, pals. You're knee-deep in this, just like us. There's no turning back now, right? Of course not. If there's any way we can help your cause, we won't turn our backs on you. That's right. We will not stand idly by while danger befalls the innocent people of Abyss. If we can capture the enemy, we can perhaps learn the reason behind their relentless attacks. Excited, are you? Fine. We could use more bodies to throw at our enemies. Thanks for volunteering. So long as they're fighting with us and not against us, I don't care how excited they are. Let's get to it! Wow. An underground arena, huh? You sure know some great spots, Yuri. I heard about this place from someone back in town. It hasn't been in use for a long time. I figured it could prove useful. So I spent some time clearing out the debris that was blocking the entrance. It seems to be a revitalized ruin. Perhaps it was originally a reception hall or something similar. Perhaps. Honestly, all of Abyss feels like a ruin. <laughs> this place is magnificent! It is just spacious enough to contain my glory! I shall not hold back here! Large? Isolated? I wonder if it would be okay for me to sigh here. If happy sighs, monsters come running. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not sure what you could possibly mean by that. I wish, Happy, but no. Absolutely no sighing. And Constance, be glorious in moderation. Understood? This place is so big that if it collapses, all of Abyss will fall with it. The whole reason we're luring our enemies here is to avoid damaging Abyss. Don't lose sight of that. <laughs> I am well aware of our aim. Sure. But that doesn't mean we can trust you to show restraint. You as well? I cannot fathom why I am being treated in such a way. It is the duty of the nobility to preserve the people's safety. Do you truly believe that I would destroy Abyss in my efforts to save it? Preposterous. That would cause trouble for Elfie too. If the underground collapses, he's the one who will have to answer for it. You must know Alfred, yeah? He's a bigwig in the church, but a friend of Abyss. He's the one who opened up this place to folks with nowhere else to turn. Looks like us. He gave us a home, a new life. It is Alfred himself who put forth the idea of establishing the Ashen Wolf House. Sadly, he faces opposition within the church, and so he cannot openly deploy the knights to aid us. That means Alfric relies upon us to protect the people who live here. Us, and now you. I hope you're ready, Professor. We're counting on you. You are a professor at the Officer's Academy, are you not? You may not be our instructor, but I cannot think of a more fitting title to call you. Seems like you're with us now. We'll owe you one. Time to knock some sense into their thick skulls. They picked the wrong strangers to mess with. All right. Um, so we finally have access to the Ashen Wolves unit. Uh, Yuri as a trickster with uh, six movement because of his relic. And he's got foul play. Unit swaps position with an ally in range. One to five range. Wow. New skill, Duelist Blow. Oh, this was in Fates, actually. Uh, yeah. This was in Fates. Lucky 7. Grants plus 5 to one of the following. Each turn, so it's random. Knights of Saros as his battalion. Interest providing for his mother and cooking. Okay. With the fist fair heal because he's a war monk. And he's got Brawl Avoid. That's pretty nice. I don't think he's gonna be avoiding too many attacks. 
Transmute. We saw that. Last time. Uncanny blow. Hit plus 30. So... That is pretty good, actually. With the extra range. And I guess this is... Like a reference to her side, which she just explained. Alright, seems pretty interesting. Um... Let's have Edelgard over here. Oh, Edelgard's uh, clothes did actually change. It did affect. So only... Um, so only Dimitri and Claude are unaffected. I see. Uh, what's up, Ash over here? Alright. And we got Ash and Wolf students here. We cannot even swap places with them or anything like that. There has to be some kind of reinforcements because I'm seeing these pink spots over here. And all of the enemies are over here, so... Yeah. Pink spots, I guess, could <laughs> spoil some of the things. But I wish the game actually gives some kind of indication that reinforcements are showing up or something like that. Yeah, so that is the team. And let us just save. And let us begin. Ah! You following those shady kids was a bad idea. This is massive. <laughs> they actually fell for it. Let's get this done. Other mercenaries are on their way. We left a nice little trail of crumbs for them to follow. <laughs> we'll need to take them all out or they'll just keep coming. Let's pull it together. They'll keep on coming? I like how Yuri's dancing a bit to the music. Look at him grooving. <laughs> I love the trickster class because of this. Even in Awakening, uh, they had this kind of movement. It was really nice looking on someone like Anna. Okay, the animations are not really something too much for the battle, but I like the idle animation. Uh, she has bolting. Ooh, that's nice. And they have their classes mastered. But all of our other students do not. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. I'll cut through. Uh, okay, because of the stairs, I cannot really reach. So I'll just dismount. Sure thing. Um, I could go over here and use Gambit. I only have one Gambit. Should I use it right there? Be careful who you choose to follow. <laughs> I suppose it's too late for that now, isn't it? I could restore the battalion from the yellow spots. Okay, that's gonna be helpful. Yep. Let's use Miasma. You're a real pain in the neck, you know that? Let's hope this yellow spot doesn't restore the battalion. That's what you get. <laughs> okay, battalion endurance. Constance kind of reminds me of Maribel and Laura Shell. Both a bit. I don't know why. This music is so nice. You'll not find it so easy to escape from the darkest depths of Garrick Mock. I didn't expect the music to be so good. Acknowledge my contribution. Yeah, definitely reminds me of Laura Shell and Maribel. More so like Laura Shell, honestly. Oh, we could go for the steel gauntlets. But I don't want to miss, so I'll just use the relic. It'll be a shame to mar this pretty arena with a bunch of fresh corpses. But here goes. <laughs> Couldn't weather the storm, huh? Got some bullion, that's nice. This guy has got Lance Breaker. That's not good. I'll give it my all. I could just go for him. I will prevail. I could just stay on the defensive tile. Avoid tile, actually. Yeah. 
not defensive. Stay Violet focused. cannot reach there as it is. Yeah, so I think I'll just stay here. Steel Shield is definitely gonna be helpful. We go for the Sword of Creator. And miss. Miserably. Never mind, I actually hit. Let's charge in with Dimitri. We need to take out this guy, this assassin. But I don't think we can. Can we? Ready and willing. Actually, let's go for here and dismount because I don't want to get hit by the sniper. And we can double this guy. Okay, that's nice. Who me? Hilda unfortunately cannot reach. Yeah, taking out this assassin is gonna be annoying. But we'll try. <sighs> we don't even have any kind of stride battalion or anything like that. So that's definitely problematic. We'll focus on taking out this uh this assassin because I feel like he's the biggest threat here. Yeah, I feel like he's the biggest threat. Oh, I didn't dismount! Come on! I forgot to dismount. I don't want to get hit by the sniper, no. Please. You have 51 hit rate. Okay, I would have to use Divine Pulse. Or should I go for the Deadeye? For that, uh, sniper. Not like I could take him out. Yeah, okay, I just completely had a brain fart. I don't like it. And let's take out this guy. Um, with the Iron Lance. I must stay focused. Ooh, he got strength. Nice. I'm getting strong. Got bullion. Ash. Uh, there's no way you could take out this guy, can you? Nope. Five percent crit chance. Oh, with the mini bow, we do double. So I'm gonna go with that. Claude has to dodge this. I just forgot to dismount. That's gonna be a big mistake. I hope I don't have to divine pulse like this early on I would not like that uh, I do have iron bow on Hilda too but she doesn't have the curve shot or any of those combat arts come on Claude please dodge Edelgard's stance looks so weird without the armor Survive with 1 HP. Please, Claude, please dodge this. Okay, he's going for Hilda. Nice. Hilda taking one for Claude. So that is just really helpful. Okay, he's going to go for this, this battalion. Yuri being the trickster. Can easily dodge that. Wow, Claude. You have to dodge this, my man. Oh. Such a close call. These guys are hitting all of these inaccurate moves. I'm kind of jealous. Not gonna lie. Let's see what this foul play is. Oh, we could swap positions. This is kind of insane, man. So we... <laughs> So it's not like we had any kind of shortage of broken things in this game. Stride, Battalion, Warp, Rescue, all of the cheese. And now we also have Foul Play from the Trickster class. I mean, I like it, but <laughs> good god. I can see that being broken. So that could help so much with the movement. This guy's on the Avoid Tile. Uh, 
Yeah, so Happy's uh, skill is definitely going to be really helpful here for hitting. Could go for Banshee. Restrict the movement. Rusted bow. Yeah, restricted the movement and we can indeed hit. A grand skirmish. All right, training lance. I'm gonna move out of there. I cannot really reach this guy. I mean, we can, but. The pathetic damage. Balthus doesn't have a lot of magic. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'll use my iron sword. Each battle a chance to grow. Oh, could have used Hilda for the for the iron bow. Handax does it. Okay, even in this DLC, she's saying that. Oh, he's on the void tile. That's annoying. But our boy Ash does have the hit plus 20. It's your call. Yeah, so we could do this. I'm just gonna attack this guy with Edelgard. Iron Sword, yeah. Okay, our boy Ash does it. I'm gonna go for the curve shot. Just to make sure I don't miss because this sniper is a big threat. The fight continues. These guys have Lance Breaker. I'll use some magic to help. I guess. Yeah, let's just use mini bow. Oh, it was a good try. Yuri can still move, so that's amazing. We could go back and use Nosferatu. But we do have limited uh, usage of that, so I don't know if I want to do that. I'm gonna try with Dimitri. If I hit Javelin, that would be the best case scenario. Of course I do not. We'll have to use uh, Yuri. We'll have to go for the Nosferatu. Out of my way. Okay, now this guy's coming at us. Uh, I need to heal up some of the allies. 10 physic usage, so that's good. <laughs> Sorry. Got the crest. Oof. Uh, that's well, gonna take you out then. You're fresh out of luck. Yeah, they did say that more enemies will come, so this nothing really too surprising here. Place, can it? More visitors already? Allow us to offer you a premature burial. Damn brats, out of the way.
Uh, we could continue over here. We got two... Valkyries, Excalibur. Okay, I have to watch out with Constance. Bullion. Snipers. We do have Retribution, so I could throw in Edelgard with Retribution any time. And she would just charm them all. Without any trouble. Um... Yeah, but these guys are still problematic. I could have uh, Yuri go there. Yeah, I could just have Happy stay over here and use Foul Play. Change my position. Uh, I should have uh, got Nosferatu. Actually, no. Nosferatu is gonna be fine. These guys have pretty bad resistance, yeah. We do have Bolting, but... I think I should save that Bolting for some more threatening enemies. Ready and willing. These guys are not really all that threatening at the moment. Yuri can definitely tank some hits. Edelgard does have hammer, so it doesn't matter what these armor units do. They all move. Nosferatu does pathetic damage. Should have definitely got something else. And my Nosferatu, I think, runs out. Yeah, it has run out. Um... So yeah, let's use the hammer. Oh wait, I don't have hammer on Hilda. I have hammer on Edelgard. We do have horse Slayer, so Dimitri could definitely do some work. Okay, Happy is very frail, so definitely have to protect her. The range of this sniper. I'm gonna go for the hammer. Silver Axe does 5 damage to Edelgard. What a beast. Okay, Iron Bow does do quite a bit of damage. I think I did misplay a bit. I could have uh, Sorry, taken out this you. armor first and then attack with Violet. Actually, no, it's fine. That is that. You had to crit that weakened guy. Such power dwells with Violet's charm is so low in this DLC. That was amazing. Uh, we gotta take out these mercenaries. Do have Lance Breaker, of course. Ooh. Actually, I could use Foul Play and have uh, Edelgard over here. Yeah, that could be done. Miasma and then Claude could take out this guy. 
Not a problem. Or even Dimitri. I really need to give Dimitri some kind of other weapon. <laughs> Golden deer for you. Indeed, that is the golden deer. Going for Yuri. Pathetic accuracy, not much they could do. Yuri could tank quite a bit of hits. 26 attack speed. Yuri has uh, 25, so he could definitely survive, but I don't need to overcommit, I feel like. Because overcommitment might lead me to use my divine pulses, which I don't want to do. Uh, so yeah, we'll just stay over here. And we could heal up Balthus. Hilda. Yeah. Thanks. We have all kinds of firepower here. These two snipers are definitely going to be annoying. And now they are coming down from the stairs. Good thing they, these guys don't know about dismounting. Alright. Quite a lot of range. I cannot let... Uh, Constants get hit by them because they do have a scalibur. Alternatively, I could bait them out over here. She does have transmute. Uh, does have quite a bit of resistance too, so I think she could do that on the tile, on the avoid tile, if I dismount her. That is. Oh man, Happy just seems to be in constant threat, it seems like. I could try to have Edelgard come over here, use the foul play. And then try to enemy face these guys. I think that could be done. With the Iron Lance, we double. You never had a chance. Because these assassins are extremely annoying to face, and I feel like Edelgard could easily take the hits with the Ting Ting. So I really want to do that. Yeah, let's do that with Edelgard. Swap our places. Oh, he can still move. Wow. Oh, he does have his relic, but... Yeah, we could bait out that archer over here. No problem. Edelgard takes like zero damage from all of them. Ah, uh, I should have used the retribution, man. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's dismount. And let's equip. Fire magic is fine. Yeah. Could attack this guy and then Kanto. Edelgard with Steel Shield is definitely gonna be pretty nice for the enemy face stuff. Killing Edge. We have 44% chance to crit. Sounds pretty good to me. Eh, 
And not like Swordmaster Violet that's gonna get hit that easily. As expected. Yep. Hey, good job. Thank you, Yuri. 45% chance to hit. Yeah, not happening. Uh, I should just move over here. Oh, Ash is gonna get targeted? Are you kidding me? That's fine though. We could take on this one guy. We'll heal up Ash. Ash definitely took quite a bit of damage. So did Balthus, but he's a strong man. He could sustain that. That much damage. And we'll have uh, Balthus over here just so that he could support Constance. Because not like Constance is going to be one round queuing anyone. And I cannot really move into the range of uh, these guys. Yeah, because then I'll get attacked by the magic. Uh, let's have Steel Axe for the max damage. She's not gonna be hitting anyone back, but still. Actually, that's not true. If I could have, uh, if I could have Iron Sword, that would definitely help. Yeah. Edelgard just taunting everyone, saying they're weak. Transmute gonna activate. Yep. Definitely taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, we could trap this archer, actually. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, we could do that. So it, we probably get more reinforcements after we take out uh, these guys. I think. Balthus can... 16 damage. Okay. You're certain? I also need to heal up. So I could trap this archer. Um... Also need to take out these guys. Uh, I'll turn up the range. So this is the range of this guy. Man, these guys standing on a void tiles. They're so annoying. Asma. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. You could also heal up Constance or Balthus. Okay, my boy Ash can now move. And Hilda just does nothing. Wow. Because I'm thinking of trapping this guy so that I could just like heal up my units for the next wave, which I'm assuming is going to be coming. So that's just my plan, I guess. My cute little plan. I really wish Dimitri could one shot these guys.
He does quite a bit. Aw. Are you kidding me? Sea uh, Lance, Tempest Lance. That's 1 HP. That's unfortunate. Pretty sure he doubles this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna try my chance. Oh, wow. We hit. Nice. Good job, Hilda. Good job. And we could take that guy out with Ash. So that's amazing. And then we heal up uh, Balthus. like her voice acting um yeah she could double do a lot i could probably stand on the ward wood so that will help me even more yeah that's amazing sagitae does it Ooh, that's nice All right, my boy Ash, you need to take out this guy. Actually, this guy. Yeah. I can't lose. Six-person yeah. crit. That was tough. I'll let Edelgard get some hits. Oh, never mind. She does not want to get any hits. Never mind. Is that all? All right, time to trap this archer. We want to take him out. That's it. They're trapped, sir. And now I'm gonna heal up. The lengths I go to. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up my units now. <laughs> Let's take this down time. I've saved up bolting. Balthus. Okay, he could heal up in like two turns. Not bad. Yeah, we could just prepare for the next wave to come. Um, I think it's gonna be coming from over here, right? Because first, first wave came from here, so I'm guessing. Yeah, because it should be like that. So the first enemies came from here, then the wave came from here. Because I'm seeing, uh, like I'm seeing these pink spots, so that's why. All right, my boy Ash, I should go over here. Uh, Claude could just use his concoction. Yeah, that's better. And we just need to heal up Constance and then I'll let go of this archer. Oh, never mind! <laughs> How deep does this place go? I wonder if it's around here somewhere. We have to finish this fight before more show up. I wish they'd turn around and go home. So I guess, um... I guess they even come here, even if you do not, like, take out the enemy because Last time when we took out that last enemy, um, more reinforcements showed up. So that's why I was thinking, maybe it's tied to that, but apparently not. Okay, good to know, good to know. 
Time to go now. Could use foul play. Yeah, we could go for here. Ash over here. Uh, yeah, we could give the... We could give the thing to Edelgard, I think. The... The retribution, that is. This one wyvern sticks out like a sore thumb. Retribution is definitely going to be helpful. I have saved that up, so that should help me. Let's mount. Use the mini bow. <laughs> that guy dodged. Okay. Happy? Could you one shot? Nope. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. Constants? She takes quite a lot of damage, obviously. I could just dismount. And then attack. Still take, like, a bit of damage. I could heal her up. That's no problem. Actually, I could attack from over here, too. Yeah. I must steal myself. And I think we should be fine. Um, yeah, Edelgard just handles these guys so well. We just have to take care of the magic guys. And if I get retribution to my pilot, it should make it, like, easier. Dimitri could also, like, take the advantage of that, actually. More the merrier. Let's just say that. Can I take out that, uh... Yeah, I could always just attack that wyvern with bolting. Not gonna be having the best accuracy, but still. Let's seal up Edelgard. We need her to be at full HP. She's gonna be the MVP. Yeah, not like it does anything. Okay, they have started to move. They have started to move indeed. Yeah, I think... Pilot and uh, Edelgard could easily handle these guys. Uh, let's go for here and then use Retribution. Perfect. Gives it to Dimitri, to Claude, to Balthus. To Edelgard. Perfect. And yeah, Edelgard just takes all the hits here. Even the archers. I want to go and attack that wyvern. Uh, just outside of her range a bit. Yeah, Edelgard could stand here. I could use the Gambit and just prevent them from going anywhere, but I think I should save that. Can you sort of create her? Survival on 1 HP, but that's fine. Now 
Now you know your limits. 31 strength. That's spicy. Ah, uh, should I just switch places? We have a lot of units coming over here as well. I think I'll send one of them. Yeah, I could send uh I could send Violet the other way, probably. Foul play is so good. I love it. Reminds me of the Pokemon move. But it's even better. Uh, who needs healing? No one. Absolutely no one. Oh yeah, we could diagnose this guy with death. And then just run away. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I miscounted that. Oof, yikes. Yikes, this is not good. We need to protect Happy. No, I messed up. I, I was just thinking how I didn't use any Divine Pulse. We don't have anything to protect her, do we? Oh, we could use bolting actually. We do have two bolting, so we'll bolting that archer. Never mind, he survives. He survives! No. Could dismount and attack this guy. We'll take quite a bit of damage. But steel bow, we do not. Who's gonna be attacking? This? This guy? 26 attack speed. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the Iron Bow. Oh, we take the penalty. I mean... There's no Archer in the sights, is there? Yeah, we should be fine. Just staying mounted. So we don't take the mounted penalty. Can't believe I was... Doing it so well, then I made the mistake with Happy. Miscounted the Kanto steps. It's not luck, it's fate. I'm not done yet. Claude unfortunately did not dodge that. That's fine though, we could heal him up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, everyone else can be taken on by Edelgard. Wish Happy had bolting. Would have been nice with her skill. We have Rally Strength. Nice. Let's give that to Edelgard. Okay, everyone is moving over there. Oh, here come the mages. We need Violet to take them on. We need to take out that Wyvern, the SAP. <sighs> so close. Sweet dreams. It was so close. Uh, yeah, we need to move. Careful, Claude, out of the way. Absolutely out of the way. Uh, now they attack Edelgard, they do absolutely nothing. Yeah, Edelgard could stay here. And don't mind about anything. Uh, Altus definitely takes a bit. Oh, 
I could go for the gambit here. We won't hold back. Witness my power. Yeah, stay down there. Worms. Uh, I could try Dimitri's gambit here. Yeah, that's good. It does hit that brawler too. But honestly, I don't need it. Violet could take these guys on. No trouble. Ah! As I say, no trouble, I get some trouble. Take over for me? No biggie. <laughs> I like I like her voice acting so much. Same voice actress as Stealthia. Uh yeah, Swordmaster Violet should be able to take on everything here. If I dodge everything that is. If it's in my luck. These guys are rattled. We just have to take out this thing. Shouldn't be hard. Please do not miss Constance. Thank you so much. Uh, Yuri could go there and help, I guess. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Yeah, he can be a decent friend liner. Actually. Rusted sword. That is pretty nice. We need to heal up our boy Violet. I have five physic left. That's actually not that bad. Steel Lance, uh, Tempest Lance should do it. I mean, anything does it. You never had a chance. All right, more strength for our boy. Uh, dead eye, curve shot. So that gambit helped a lot, weakening everyone in that area. I'll stick. Uh, okay. Yeah, we need to heal up. Actually, even Balthus could heal up Pilot. But we need Pilot to be healed up completely. Well done. I have Iron Sword. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, how are you gonna hit that and I miss 88 person hit rate moves? Why? What is happening? Can I dodge? Okay, thank god. Each battle a chance to grow. Another step forward. Got bullion? Yeah, nice fire magic. Well, how was that? Okay, I would have lost it if this guy actually hit me. Okay, that's nice. Some healing from the crest. And I think this is it. I'm pretty sure. I hope there are no more <laughs> reinforcements. Uh, yeah, Miasma, this guy. Easy peasy. Ugh. A 
baby steps, I guess. Yeah, that's not an easy piece, is it now? I need to get that experience tile, and we'll take out all of the other guys. This armor could stay. Do I take out this armor? Nope. If I crit, then I do. I guess I'll just equip iron gauntlets. <laughs> yeah. I want to get that uh, experience tile, after all. Should I have held back? You're in good form. Um, yeah, let's take out these mages now. Yeah, steel nice uh steel lance is nice for using the tempest lance. So much power in that. Rusted gauntlets. Let's get some Hilda action. If she can hit with a 69. You lost to me? Uh, Yuri could definitely use some experience. <laughs> Who is next? God, why are his shoes so pointed? What the hell? They are so pointed for no reason. Thanks for that. Ready and willing. Sorry. Okay, we just need to get that yellow spot and we should be fine. And then I'll put out this guy out of his misery, I guess. What? Another wave? Sick of looking at these fools. Okay, even Balthus is just so done. Okay, I was actually thinking it was over, but Death Knight. I thought I smelled fresh blood. The worms will feast tonight. That sword awaited you in the holy mausoleum. Show me its power. Route all of the What is this chapter? What? Why? Where are these guys coming from? Wyverns? Okay, I can send Violet in there. And Edelgard too. It really was not over. It really was not. I got bamboozled. Hard. Very hard. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna abuse this avoid tile so hard with Violet, I swear. Uh, I'll heal up, uh... I'll heal up Violet to full HP. And I'll send Edelgard and, uh... Violet to take on these fools. Yeah, that seems like the plan. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Yeah, that's nice and all, but Death Knight is more dangerous, lady. Just to let you know. Well done. Edelgard is back to full HP. That is pretty sweet. We still have, uh... The Retribution effect. I could go for another one, actually. But, I guess not right now. So many horses, wyverns. I think I'm too out of the range. Could use Violet. Um, or I could use Edelgard. 
Just to be safe, I should probably use uh, the gambit over here right now. I think that would be nice. Pretty sure it sacks up. Like extending my turn. But still, it hasn't been that many turns to begin with. Alright, Yuri. Uh, let's swap places with Edelgard. Edelgard, time to take the Ting Ting. I'll have the Iron Sword, actually. Yeah. Be mindful. Alright, thank you for triggering that crest. He's back to full HP. Those wyverns seem nasty. Yeah, those wyverns seem definitely pretty nasty. Oh, they're coming! Edelgard and Violet should be able to do this pretty easily on the avoid tile. <laughs> this is so funny. She says you're weak after every other attack. Good thing this map has got some stairs. Oh boy, I'm so glad. At least he could be slowed down. He has to climb down the stairs. I mean, if you have if you have played the main routes, you know what his horse is capable of. Stairs is probably nothing for his horse. Uh, but still. Uh, I need to go on the void tile, dude. Yeah, I need to occupy that. Badly. Dude, nothing helps me here. Uh... Actually, I should stay here and use the smash. And hope that I hit. Never mind. Why did I even expect that? We'll use combat art and then get the hell out of there. That was probably the best option anyways. Never underestimate an outsider. Yeah, escape there. Each battle a chance to grow. And Violet on a void tile. <laughs> it's gonna be like John Cena. You wouldn't be able to see him. <laughs> Um, yeah, all of the wyverns could go to uh, Edelgard, that's fine. Could go for the bolting. Nice. I do have Horse Slayer on Dimitri, so that's just nice. Dude, Edelgard and uh, Pilot have been carrying this so far. Oh, you do some damage to Edelgard. How cute. How very cute. Edelgard was g starting to get bored. Here come the horses. I could use the gambit. What? 19% hit rate? No hesitation. 
That is that. You shouldn't have hesitation against a bastard who can hit 19 person hit rate. Okay, Death Knight seems to be on his way. That's nice. Uh, just coming at us full speed. Horses cannot climb stairs, so that's always useful. Um. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We need to take out this guy. Oh, my retribution is gone. No. No. Actually, do I even need retribution? No, I do not. All of these are physical enemies. They all have sword breaker. So... Yeah, that's annoying. Do I have a lance? No. Okay, gauntlets. I guess then Edelgard will have to take on. As Horse Slayer. It's over. <laughs> Should I have held back? We must stop. I am so impressed. Oh, if I move from this, all hell will be loose on Violet, I guess. I kept bolting this guy. Can Violet take on at least one hit? I need to occupy that tile though. Failure is not an option. Yeah, Violet can take that. That's fine. We need to move out of here. Let Edelgard do her thing. Peacefully. Let's use Physic. A great help. Yeah, I used all of Balthus's heals. Actually, I could, uh, like, change places with Yuri, so that could work out. All of these guys are going for Violet. But the... Sword Breaker, it's definitely gonna be pretty annoying. But then Dimitri... How much damage does Dimitri take? He still takes quite a bit. I don't think I can protect him. Actually, I could have recovered if I didn't move here with Balthus. Of all people. Could have traded the gauntlets. And because these guys can use Kanto, they can just go in again and again. Or I could have Hilda. Yeah, Hilda could take on some hits. We'll send in Hilda. Rally Dex. Okay, Violet can take that one hit. That's fine. We'll have Horse Slayer. Equipped. Uh, Yuri will just stay here. Uh, nope. 
We are fine. We'll just use Iron Sword. I'll say bolting. Actually, she didn't use her uh, bolting because of the crest. So that's nice. And then we could. Oh no, I've used the battalion already. I could use the battalion with. Um, with Violet. As expected. You really want to attack someone with Horse Lear? I mean, my man Dimitri is only missing out on some strength points from one round killing you, like one shotting you. Okay. Uh, we should be able to finish off all of these guys this turn. Yeah. Seems possible. Now you know your limits. One step at a time. Constance can get this experience. That's a long coat. My next Why? Why did Happy and Constance just get screwed here? Makes no sense. Okay, who is the lowest level unit right now in our party? Yuri Bothis. Okay, we'll let them get the fun. Yuri doubles this assassin. Face it, I'm better than you. Use a caution. Over already. Man, his strength is just going up. Happy and Constance might have got screwed over, but at least... Um, at least Dimitri and Edelgard have got some really, really good level ups. Alright, let's use... Uh, this. Take out this guy. And hope that there's... No other wave <laughs> that's coming our way. I could let Ash get that too. Hilda. Actually, yeah, we'll let Hilda get that. I'll heal up Violet. Thanks for some experience. The only thing which you have indulged in are the stairs. Honestly, what a nuisance. Okay, 15 turns, didn't use any divine pulse in this in this reinforcement uh map where just waves just come and come and never stop. Boss, that's the last of them. Good. Finally. Thanks for all the help, everyone. I ain't going down without a fight. I'm taking you with me, punk. I 
will not allow it. Elfric, you're here. Well, shall we capture this fool? What? Also, this rogue's uh, voice who just talked to Yuri first sounded like Gatekeeper. I mean, I know Om's voice actor has done a lot of uh, a lot of roles for these NPC characters, but it definitely sounded like him. Elfric, how serendipitous that you have come to our aid! I am relieved that I wasn't too late. I do hope my presence proved useful. No doubt about it. We needed the backup. Professor, I do believe this is the first time our paths have crossed, is it not? Of course, I have heard all about you from Her Grace, the Archbishop. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Elfric. The Church has granted me custodianship of Abyss. The pleasure is all mine. I am sure you have already been told about Abyss's unique situation. For varying reasons, all of the inhabitants here are unable to live a peaceful life on the surface. People like the Dagdens and Almirans, who suffer undue persecution across Fodlin. The poor and the sick, who are forced into Abyss. Not to mention all the other unfortunate souls who ended up here. I believe it is my sacred duty to provide a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Right. And the poor and sick living in a sunless crypt helps them... how? Enough, Claude. Please, forgive my friend, Elfric. We would love to hear more. In all honesty, I understand his concern. I dearly wish I could provide a better life for my flock. But it would appear that Her Grace and most of the Church consider the existence of Abyss to be... something of a nuisance. I'm afraid so. Those within the church who would see Abyss purged are swiftly growing in number. That's the church for you. They make a big deal out of helping the helpless, when it suits them. We can't just sit back and accept the way things are. We've got to fight the system. Sure, I'm here to hide from literally countless bounty hunters. But I'm not the only one in need. You're in a bad way too, Happy. We can't just let the church walk all over us. Too true. For the sake of all who dwell in Abyss, we must help dear Elfric to turn the tide! I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Your fervent support is all the reward I could ask for. As for you, Professor, I must beg a favor of you. The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Naturally, your official duties take precedence, so you need only help out when your schedule allows. Wait a minute, Elfric. Where's this nonsense coming from? I second that question. We have no need of a professor when we have you. Dear Flock, I am a mere guardian. I can protect you, but I cannot enrich your minds. Though I call this gathering an academy house, I have long lamented that it isn't truly so. Now, I am blessed with the opportunity to correct this. The professor who stands before you has garnered a great deal of acclaim on the surface. A most trustworthy and esteemed teacher, to say the least. What's more, I happen to be acquainted with the father of this fine individual. I met Geralt back when he was a knight. I was born and raised in Garrick Mach, so I often had the opportunity to spend time with him. Your mother as well. She was a cherished friend of mine. I was even present for their wedding. With parents like yours, I have no doubt that you possess the kindness and patience necessary to guide these students. But... It'll be fine. It's not like we're strangers anymore. Say, Alfric, don't you need to take care of those thieves? Ah, right you are. Please, excuse me. Oh, and one more thing, Professor. If ever you would like to hear more about your parents, I would be delighted to share my memories with you. Oh wow, he knew parents of Byleth. That's interesting. He seems like a good character. I wonder if we could play as him at some point. 
Like, we get access to Gilbert and Blue Lions. We get access to Prepper Morts like Shamir and Catherine, Sethet, Alois. So, maybe for Cinder Shadows, he's the one. I like his voice acting. So, yeah, that is the second chapter. So many reinforcements. Um, I was almost on the verge of using Divine Pulse due to some of my stupid mistakes, but... Uh, I was able to cover up my paths and just be lucky, I guess. <laughs> lucky and bad. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff. And when you subscribe, please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as broken as uh, the foul play combat art. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.